Mr. Thanks. Now to Holyoke, where two of the city's dispensaries came together to commemorate 420, a day recognizing the consumption and use of the marijuana plant. Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey joins us in the studio with more. Olivia. Glenn, the joint block party hosted by Cannabis Provisions and Holyoke Cannabis brought the community together to celebrate the day while also looking to the future of the cannabis industry. On Saturday, people came together in Holyoke to commemorate 420, a day dedicated to the uses of the marijuana plant. Today you can find uh, tons of quality cannabis all over the store. Um, we, have a, we have a huge menu um, and we have something for everybody, honestly. Inside Canna Provisions and Holyoke Cannabis Next Door, products were sold. Meanwhile, outside, the two shops came together to host a 420 extravaganza block party featuring music, ice cream, and more. We're making a community here. We are definitely com competition, but today, 420, we're all united. We spoke with one customer from Connecticut participating in the event. It's a lot more common up here rather than in Connecticut. It's more like restricted, but they're opening up uh, the restrictions and all, everything around there. I thought Massachusetts would be a good drive to come up here for the day. The event was also used as a way to look to the future of cannabis. We're told Holyoke Mayor Joshua Garcia was in attendance of the event earlier in the day, discussing how cannabis can continue to be utilized as a way to drive tourism, boost economic development, and more. Garcia shared a statement with Western Mass News, reading in part, quote, on-site cannabis consumption is the missing link for the cannabis industry to have a positive impact on economic development, tourism, and public safety for cities like Holyoke. We need the ability to issue one-day on-site consumption permits, similar to one-day liquor licenses for events, and to have a bricks-and-mortar licensed business that is safe and legal for consumers to visit. James Jaron from Holyo Canvas adds, between this date falling on a Saturday for the first time in a few years and the warm weather, this warm weather, this event was a success. Recreational cannabis was legalized in 2016. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Olivia Hickey.